follow up to the last video where I showed you the swap out. Bobby Gailey's under seat box for the Ford F-250. Six, six and a half inch B2 audio subwoofers. I originally had the prototype. He made some improvements. The new box extends a lot lower and it's just a lot more musical box. I love the way it sounds. That being said, I asked him not too long ago, can I try the box for four eights? And see how it sounds in here. And uh, well, he brought me a box over for four eights. So let's go inside the shop. Let's take a look at it. I got four eights already ready to go. Maybe we could put them in there, see how they sound on the test bench. We'll put the seat lift kit in here eventually and a new amplifier, make a few changes, maybe even some more mids and highs. I got plans for this F-250. So I'll be the first one to tell you that the cone area is pretty much the same. It's not very far off between six, six and a half and four eights, but I'm always wanting to try something different. And in the very beginning, I wanted to do four eights to begin with. So this is going to be fun. Got this thing sitting right here, looking all pretty. We got the original Proto right here. The one I've been running for a while, swapped out from the last video and we got the box for four eights sitting here. Slap it up on the bench, put some speakers in it. We'll hook up this amp. Oh, wait a minute. I got this new amp that I want to try out. I think I forgot to mention. I got another bass amp planned for the F-250 as well. And another mids and high amp. I want to add more mids and highs to the truck, but I need more channels. So there's going to be some overhauling already. I love the way it sounds. I just want to make it even better than what it is. This thing's so beautiful. As you can see, it's got that Gately Shield shaped multi layered port, nice and long. Extends all the way into the box, just about that direction and that direction. Should go nice and low. And you might remember these eights right here that were in the father son Honda build. Those are going to come out of this box, and I got another pair sitting right over there. Now to say I like the way this box sounds would be a major understatement. This thing sounds awesome. I hate to pull it apart, but I want these eights. I definitely look forward to using this box in something else eventually. So let's get these things out of here, put them in this box, and see how they sound. Actually, these things were underpowered by half, and they still were getting pretty ridiculous in the back of that Honda trunk. These are about ready to put in, about ready to hook them up, but we got another little issue we have to deal with. These are dual ones, which means my choices are two ohms or a half an ohm at the end of the day when hooking up to a single amplifier that is. The plan is to take this dual one ohm here, turn it into two ohms. Take that dual one ohm there, turn it into two ohms. Series them together to make four. Do the same with those over there. So now I'll have two pairs at four ohm, which will be parallel together to bring it back down to two ohms. So what to do about the 2500 watt amp that's in the truck? These speakers are rated for 750 watts RMS a piece. So 3000 watts is where I want to be. The 2500 watt amp at one ohm is not going to be 3000 watts. So we got this B2 Audio 5000 watt amp sitting over here. 
when wired down to two ohms should put me right at 3000 watts or so i haven't even opened up the book but in general if that thing is making 5000 at one ohm it's probably going to be right around 3000 at two we'll crack it open here in a little bit and see but for right now that's the plan we're going to hook this up we're going to mount the subs run some wires then we'll open up that amplifier put it on the bench fire this thing up i'm so dying to hear what this thing sounds like So if you don't understand what I meant by series parallel, this is what I basically did. This is a dual one ohm subwoofer. And by running a jumper from the positive on one side to the negative on the other side, I basically just turned this thing in to a two ohm subwoofer. Of course, I need to run my positive here and my negative here out, but it becomes a single two ohm subwoofer at that point. So now we'll have two, 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 and two. You may be wondering why I used red here and blue here. Basically because I'm making a set of groups. It's always easier when you're series paralleling stuff to create groups. Then it's less confusing. If I got a group here and a group here and I know what it is and I hook it up, then I know what my outcome is going to be. If I got a bunch of red wires together, well, it might get confusing after a little while. This isn't too bad. It's only four, but eh, besides, I had some blue and some red sitting over there. I have one more little trick up my sleeve though to make this even better because that woofer's in series, this woofer's in series, this woofer's in series, this woofer's in series. Well, these woofers that are already in series need to be in series with each other. These woofers that are in series need to be in series with each other to raise it up from two ohm, two ohm, up to four ohm. Two ohm, two ohm, up to four ohm. So what I'm gonna have is two four ohm groups. Now I need to take these things and then parallel them back together. When it's all said and done, I'll be sitting at two ohm just where I wanna be and everything will be just right, I think, I hope. So let's head into the showroom and pick up one of my masterpieces. I think it's gonna work great for this. You may or may not remember the DCL 4.2. New and approved, of course. Mm, copper. I created this product a few years back to help people deal with direct lead subwoofers. That's why it's called DCL 4.2. And uh, this is supposed to help you so you don't have to cut your wires every single time you want to remove your box or if you have it attached to another woofer, you don't want to have to cut them every single time. So this is very helpful for that. But these also are very useful for other wire configurations as well. So I'm going to show you here in a second why this is going to be very useful for what I'm about to do. And since Bobby Gately boxes come with copper terminal bolts, we're going to go ahead and use this copper one instead. So as much as I love this one, beautiful aluminum, we're going to go with this one. Normally I would take this DCL 4.2 and I would mount it inside the box somewhere and then attach everything to it. And I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna attach it out here first and show you guys why I'm using it, what the wiring configuration is gonna be like, and then I'll stick it in the box and then I'll reattach it. Just to kind of give you a better visual of what's actually happening here. It looks pretty simple, and it is, but it's very effective. So yeah, I know, I could have easily just twisted these wires together, put some tape around them, put them in a wire nut, 
I could have used a butt connector to do all this. A lot of butt connectors, a couple of them at least. But I like doing stuff nice and clean and that's why I'm doing this. And it also shows you another alternative. So what we're gonna do here, we'll take these off here. It's been pretty quiet all morning up in here. We had a little bit of tunes. We had no CNC machines running. Anthony showed up playing with the new toy. Yeah. Practicing. Getting good at it. Anyways, back to what we got going on over here. Two subwoofers, two ohms each. We'll take positive from one, put it right here. The negative from the other one, we're gonna put it right there. And then since these two need to be together, we're gonna to put them right here. Same thing, we got the blue group. We'll do the same thing, but we'll do it on this side over here. So we'll take positive from this woofer, the negative from this woofer, put them on there like that. And since we want all these to be together, we're gonna use this little series jumper bar that comes with this. Use the shiny side up. We'll do this like that. And then now we got positive and negative, which need to be together right here. We'll skip those bigger washers. Those are for bigger connectors than I'm using right now. We got a lock washer, it should be good to go. Now if I did this right, which I think I did, this thing should be sitting pretty at 2 ohms. And I can just hook the amp up right here and be done with it. Alright, let's just see. Two on the dot. 1.92. Perfect. Gotta love it. This thing's ready to get hooked up. That works good. And I could pull these things apart at any time and take them out without overcomplicating anything. I could literally unhook this wire, take the speaker out, swap it out, do anything I want, and then put it right back. And there's no crazy series parallel wire to deal with.
is holding up good. So what I'll do is I'll just start feeding all these through and then the last woofer will get its last connection. So it's got the longer cord. So we'll send this one through this way. They're all in there. Now the fun part. All the wiring real quick, just like I did on the outside. Lots of series, 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 and then back to parallel happening here, but it's all nice and clean now. Just got to drop this sub in, put a couple screws in, and it's ready to test fire. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna look for that first peak. The biggest Z. 31 Hertz. Now it's gonna start dipping and dropping. That lowest one is what it's actually tuned to with the speakers screwed in. 35, 36, yeah, about 36 hertz. Let's see what the IMSG says. I'm going to back it off a little bit to about 30 or so. Okay, now I'm going to hold this button down. Find them in. There we go. Clear it out. Go nice and slow. There we go. I just went a little bit slower. So 36.9. 37 hertz. Nice. Good all around tuning frequency. Alright, that was fun. That's just part one. Time for part two. Check out what we got over here. Shall I get the steak knife kicking? Yep.
Let's take a look at this thing. Falcon. And a shout out to Sky High Car Audio. I ordered this thing and it showed up like the next day and I didn't even order next day shipping. They are they're not that far away though. But still, that was fast. Look at that. A little base knob, we got some foam. That thing is beautiful. Look at it. So let's see. I'm looking for 3,000 watts or so at 2 ohms. It's a 5,000 watt amp at 1 ohm, I'm pretty sure. But let's see what it does at two. Thirty-six hundred watts. Can you see that right there? Thirty-six hundred watts. That should be perfect for the situation. A little bit of extra headroom. I like it. I'm really feeling like I need to put this on the test bench. I gotta have a listen to this thing before I call this video over with. So, this. Ah, it's kinda heavy. This is the actual amp that is gonna be pushing those in the truck. We're gonna be taking out that 2500.1 and putting this in soon. It's got nice fans on the bottom. Three grounds and three positives. Damn. All right, that's gonna be fun. I'm equipped for it though. This thing is not playing around. Three positives and three negatives. All right, we're all hooked up over here. We got some of that enormous sky high. 2 watt doesn't really fit in there very good I had to make some minor adjustments but it's in there very big wire 0.5 B2 audio Falcon and we got the box right here oh so this actually turns it down turns the amplifier off too that's cool I like that G shit, I'm a product of the end. The homies talking about it. Hey, Marty, check it out, little nigga. I'm gonna go like this. Hey, I pray I don't die in a rut. I pray I don't slip up and die in this hey. Did you get that for real? Yeah, I did okay, get we that. We need to find another CD. That bitch, I didn't know.
Out of Compton, got California lingo, but the real SoCal come from San Bernardino. say is this thing sounds violent just sitting up here you might not be able to hear it out there in YouTube land but I can tell as soon as this thing makes it into the cab it's gonna be a whole different ball game can't wait to hear it my MSG just shut off stay tuned for that install video it's gonna be happening not super soon but in the near future next on the agenda I'll be testing this amp finding out just how much power it actually puts out you want to see that video Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, set your notifications, and I'll be sure to get that thing up real soon. That's it. I'm out of here.